Hey guys, Colin here from Nexus Tech, and today I'm going to show you the best screen recorders for gaming on YouTube. In an effort to make this video appeal to as many people as possible, I'm going to be talking about the best recorders for PC, Mac, and of course console. And alongside that, I'll be talking about both free and paid options so I can accommodate to everybody's budget. So starting the video off here, we're actually going to talk about a piece of software that doesn't fall under one of our individual categories. This is because it works on Windows 7, 8, and 10, OS X 10.8+, Plus, and Linux. This software is also free, records in high definition, doesn't require crazy specs to run this and the game, and it streams and video records. This program is called OBS, or also known as Open Broadcaster Software, and I really don't get how this exists. It's the perfect recording software. You have a preview window, streaming, video recording, high definition, low frame rates, or high frame rates, sorry, as long as you can run the game. And it's just, it's just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Now, you do have to tweak the settings a lot, which is a plus as well, because it means you have a lot of settings, but it's set up when you download it for streaming, and so you do need to set those, uh, tune those settings to video recording. And then you can also set it so it records in FLV, in, or MP4 instead of FLV. But other than that, though, the software is literally the most perfect software I can find. So guys, if you want to download OBS for yourself, you can find the link in the description. One quick thing before we go on to the next piece of software, if you want a tutorial on how to change the settings to the recording settings on OBS, check the link in the description because I made one of those videos. So guys, just a quick mention, I was going to include a piece of software in this list called Fraps, which is a $40 Windows piece of recording software. But after looking at the OBS features versus the Fraps features, I decided you're paying $40 to lose out on lots of features that OBS has. So overall, I'm going to say OBS is the best overall screen recorder. And um, if, you, if you do not like OBS, then Fraps maybe is the way to go. But other than that, I'd say OBS. So for you Mac users out there, you can actually use QuickTime Player as a screen recorder. Now, I'll leave a link in the description to a video tutorial on how to set that up, because I am not actually aware how you set that up. Um, but yeah, that is your first option, and it records HD video, and I've heard people have trouble getting audio with that, but I know you can do it, so that is your first option. But if you want dedicated recording software, which I can totally understand, you can have a look at Monosnap, which as well records HD video on Mac. And this is also free, which is really good. Um, not much to go into, um, you can actually draw on the screen and do some pretty weird stuff like that, but I mean overall it's a very good and well developed screen recorder. So to you console gamers, I actually have some pretty bad news. You're going to need a capture card to record high quality production standard video from your console. Now the only problem with this is these can run you upwards of $100. Now I would seriously recommend investing in an Elgato Game Capture HD, which is what a lot of YouTubers use, but this will run you about $139 on Amazon. But really, I think it's a worthwhile investment if you really want to start up a YouTube channel and if you're going to be committed towards it. Now there are some ghetto ways to get around using a capture card with the console, but keep in mind it will not look nearly as good as this. Um, but yeah, the Elgato looks very very good because it records up to 1080p at 60fps so you can play around with the footage a lot more. And it works with the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, Wii U, and yeah, it's really really good and I would highly recommend it if you are a console gamer wanting to record YouTube videos. So guys, to wrap it all up, I'd say if you are on any of the PC or Mac operating systems, I'd say that you should start with OBS and see how you like it. And um, and then if you're on Mac and you don't like OBS, try QuickTime out as a second alternative. And then if you're on console, I really recommend saving up for the Elgato Game Catcher HD. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped some of you out. Obviously, all the links to everything I talked about are in the description down below. But thank you for watching episode 3 of the YouTube Guide series, and uh, I will see you next time. See you guys. Get on the base.